everyone. Welcome back to The Silver Lining here on YouTube, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Sarah, and today is Tiny Tidy Tuesday, and I am gonna be cleaning out a couple of spaces in my kitchen. As with many of you, all of my Christmas decorations are still up, and I wanna take time to enjoy them. But I am getting to a point where they've been up for a few weeks now, and I'm starting to get the itch to get things back to normal. So I'm gonna focus on a few things that I can focus on and get the bottom of my pantry cleaned out and my refrigerator and freezer. When you're watching this, it's gonna be the week between Christmas and New Year's, which my kids will be home. So I'm actually pre-recording this, but I just wanna say thank you to my friend Joy from Organized with Joy and also to Joe from Minimal Zebra for giving me the inspiration to clean out my refrigerator. It's actually perfect timing because we're gearing up for a pretty big storm here in Missouri where I am and I needed to go grocery shopping so I thought before I go pick up the groceries I'll clean out the refrigerator and freezer and then I just cleaned out the bottom of the pantry because it's just one of those spots that gets pretty neglected. So anyway, let's get started. Before we get in too far to today's Tiny Tidy, I just want to say thank you to Sunday Dawn. She's the host of this collaboration. We meet every Tuesday and we Tiny Tidy together. This is an open collaboration, so all of the ladies here pop in and out. Some have been here the entire 44 weeks, I think it is now. So that's amazing. And congratulations to you if you've been tiny tidying along with all the tiny tidiers for that long. Myself, I have popped in and out and I actually got a late start uh, when Sunday found my channel back a few months ago. And I have enjoyed so much getting these tiny tidies done around my home and getting to know the other ladies in the playlist. If you're looking for a little bit more inspiration when you're finished here, check out my description box for the entire playlist for this week and see what everyone else is tidying. And also leave a comment down below if you have gotten some motivation from the playlist or from my video and let us know what you're tiny tidying along with us. I really had no intention of having any decluttering going on in this video. I was simply going to clean out the bottom of the pantry. However, once I started removing some of the bags in this milk crate, I started to notice how many bags were in here that I actually didn't even know were in here. So a lot of them are reusable grocery bags and I think I can donate these pretty easily to our local resale shop because I know they like to use them for their shoppers. And so I'll just put them in with my next consignment drop there. Moving on to the refrigerator, which is something that, like I said, I know I have had to do for a long time. I've been 
wanting to do it (laughs) in the sense that it needed to be done, not in the sense that I really wanted to do it. But I took the opportunity right now that our refrigerator is pretty empty and cleaned it out so that I could go pick up my groceries here in a little bit and restock all the things that we are needing. containers that you see me pulling out of my refrigerator and you'll notice in my freezer too all the blue containers are from the Dollar Tree. I went in one day with the intention of looking for um, baskets that would help keep my refrigerator a little bit more organized because back oh my gosh several months ago my husband and I got new appliances and we actually went from a side-by-side refrigerator freezer to the style that we have now, which is kind of what I call the old fashioned style, (laughs) where the more traditional style where the freezer is on top and the refrigerator is on bottom. And we really enjoyed it. And I think that it has a lot more space than what we had in our side-by-side refrigerator freezer. But um, I liked the idea of having a little bit better organization because the shelves seemed so much bigger to me. over to the door of the refrigerator I actually was trying to think back and remember when the last time was that I cleaned out the refrigerator in this way like take everything out wipe everything down and I can't remember exactly when but we have had this refrigerator our particular set of appliances for about a year Um, I was thinking it was longer than I think before I said it was a few months, but we've had this set for a year and I want to (laughs) say that I've done this sort of like deep clean, maybe one other time. So once every six months, like that doesn't seem like very often to me. (laughs) So (laughs) let me know in the comments if you clean out your refrigerator more often than that. Um, Now, with that being said, there wasn't a lot of sticky surfaces or stains or anything like that. 
So I was trying to remember if maybe I did just wipe it down. I mean, I do wipe down. Like if we get spills or something like that, I will stop and attend to what I need to attend to. But like this, taking apart everything and wiping everything down, I do not do very often. So I'm curious what you all do. So let me know in the comments. Um, perhaps you are just a better homemaker than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> Just as a sort of quirky side note, uh, we literally have like four ketchups open right now and three different types of mustard. <laughs> so, the other thing that I'm noticing that we have an abundance of is pickles of all types. We have pickle relish, we have jalapeno relish, we have large pickles, we have hamburger slice pickles, we have hot pickles. <laughs> so anyway, we need to go grocery shopping, but if there was an apocalypse or something, my house would live off of ketchup, mustard, and pickles. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here and watching. I hope that it gave you a little bit of motivation, maybe some inspiration to get something done this week at your house. I know it's kind of a whirlwind week and if you have people in your family home that maybe wouldn't normally be home, including the kids, but I know a lot of people take off work this week and it becomes sort of <laughs> an abyss of time and space continuum. So I hope that you are enjoying this last week of the year and that you go into a new year feeling a little bit lighter, feeling like you have a plan and feeling like you have the means to execute it in a way that fits into your life. As I mentioned before, Tiny Tidy Tuesday is an open collaboration, so if you are interested in joining us here on YouTube as we Tiny Tidy each week, then get in touch with Sunday Dawn or leave me a comment and I will help you do so. I'd love if you would give me a thumbs up before you leave. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a future video of mine, and I will see you next year. Mm -hmm.